Okay, so I messed up with the other one and I stopped the filming instead of unpausing it, which is ridiculous. Okay, so I already kind of rinsed it with both my hands, but I'm going to show you how I'm pouring some purified water over it. And I'm going to use, then I'm, you see how one of the beans is cracked open? You see that? So now I'm going to, I'm going to fill this up again with water. And this time I'm going to put the beans with the water. I'm not going to get fancy with the sofrito and stuff. Um, and quite frankly, you put, when the beans are just freshly boiling, um, I learned this from a Costa Rican, I think it is. He just throws in pieces of onions and he's happy with that. So I'm going to just throw in pieces of onions and I mean, fresh onion from the Amish and, and, um, what do you call it? Oh my goodness. And garlic, fresh garlic, large pieces. And that's going to be my sofrito. And I'm going to put, I think, one of those uh, Barbado uh, peppers. I'm not going to pop it. I'm going to remove it when the beans are done because once I start cutting it, the beans will get hot and spicy. But it does give it a little bit of a flavor. I really enjoyed my black beans the other day. As, in, as you can see, there's a bean here that is split. So you could tell it's almost like it's cooking, 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 while I it was actually getting purified. The whole idea of the baking soda was not to soak them and get them half cooked or for them to grow, it was especially to remove all the toxins. So I'm going to put this on pause again, and I hope I don't end up closing this. Um, so the way the video started, I had these beans in, in this jar full of water with baking soda overnight. I removed the lid, I poured it in here, and started pouring um, purified water to remove the, uh, the toxic water. Unless maybe the toxic the toxicity evaporates because there's baking soda in there. Not a scientist for sure, but hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, they're back in the jar, the beans. And now, believe it or not, I'm going to keep it really simple. And then I'm going to put it in a slow cooker. And I'm going to have me some rice and beans that taste really good. You don't have to work hard to get good food. Just hold on. Okay, so I went to the Amish store uh, yesterday and I got myself some tomatoes. One of them is already going bad. Uh, I got a green pepper because I want to make steakums uh, out of uh, real steak slices. Not necessarily that brand, which I love. I haven't eaten in a while. Um, I am going to cut some onions. And, and I'm going to also crush some of the garlic for the beans. I do have some cilantro. So just like you see, I just threw the cilantro just like that in there. I'm not getting fancy. To, I, I, my, the name of my game is set it and forget it. And I'm just going to boil this. Uh, I'm going to put aluminum over it what, be, under the lid. I'm going to let it boil, turn it off, let it continue to cook itself. Repeat two or three times till the beans are done. I'm just going to set it and forget it with some cilantro, pieces of onions and garlic, salt, to taste, which I could do later on, before or after. And I'm gonna put some sweet potatoes that I already have cooked in it after it's already done. And I'm gonna put it in my slow cooker with some rice. And then while I'm watching TV, whenever I feel like getting up and having a hot meal, it's done. Well, to me, this is easy cooking. I don't know, what's your opinion? Tell me in the comment line. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the notifications bell, so you won't miss a thing. The way you do that is you subscribe, and then once it says subscribed, then click it again and it takes you to all for notification bell. Just click that right there and you'll be getting notified whenever I upload something. Thank you so much for your support. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to put this piece of onion in the chopper. Uh, it's not necessary because it's a small piece. But I just want you to see how convenient this works. This really is. Oh boy, it's not closing. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to just push down. That's it. All right, so now that's already cut. As you can see, typically, if I have a small onion, I just cut it in half and it's chopped right away. But this was an awkward one to do, but I'm gonna just do another piece. And these are the onions I'm gonna put. I'm not gonna get fancy with sofrito and all of that, all right? I am Puerto Rican, but I'm showing you that there's um, more ways to skin a cat, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Close it. So I forget it. <clears throat> See, I didn't really hurt myself. I didn't injure myself. This is the easiest one of them all. 
I'm going to do a piece of pepper now. See how easy that was? That's usually how easy it typically is. So now I have um, onions and peppers. And I already have the cilantro in the beans. And I'm going to put the tomatoes going bad. I'm going to put this instead of tomatoes. I want to put tomato in the beans also, but toward the end, as well as the sweet potatoes that I already that are leftovers. Okay, so I have removed the top, the lid. I actually have removed now the top part, and it's very easy now for me to transfer this into here. Now I may make a mess because I'm one-handed. But you get the gist. Very easy cutter. This is all you dirty. No matter what, you got to dirty something, right? Uh, you still have to wash something. So this is how I do my stuff. Okay, so my beans are looking good. Not the way a Puerto Rican from Puerto Rico would tell me. They would laugh at me. They would mock at me. But if they taste it, they're going to say, you know what? I'm going to take the shortcut like you do. Uh, trust me, it doesn't have to be complicated. I think I'm going to put pink Himalayan salt. It really, really, really adds to the flavor. And it's close to one of the best. Um, it still has a little bit of like plastic in it from, from the sea. Uh, they say Redmond's the best, but there's one that's way better that has all the minerals. Well, I'm not going to say way better because I'm not a scientist. But it's pretty costly. And in another video... Uh, or if you want me to put it up in here in under the description with a link to it, um, please send me a comment or hit me, send me a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithms. I really need the help. Uh, so hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I am adding some of my pink Himalayan salt. Um, I'm sure to, I'll put probably put two more of these. It's a little tiny tasty spoon that I get from the ice cream place. It's very good because I use a lot of powdered. I... I use a lot of my vitamins are powdered, um, um, transitioning from, you know, them being encased in, in the little, whatever, gel, gel ca caps to just, uh, putting loose powder into a tasty drink or s sometimes just water. And I, I'm starting to take my vitamins like that. So I collect these little tiny things. So I'm going to put about two more, two times this amount. So back at the farm, I'm going to just smash this and I'll be right back. I'm just going to close it and hit it. I don't need a pilon. So I'm going to hit it with this. As you can see, I, I, I wrap it in plastic so I could use it several times without washing it. Oh, I don't think I could do this with one hand. Okay, so I have smashed it with this good old hammer. And uh, I'm going to remove the peel from it. And believe it or not, I have use for the peel. Be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to put these beans for it to a quick boil. Remember, I'm not going to use tomato sauce. I'm just going to use the farmer's market tomato that kind of looks like it's going already. And I don't throw it in there in pieces. It actually creates its own sauce. And if I want some color, instead of using, um, you know, the, the sazon, I'll, I'll put a little turmeric. It gives it that hearty flavor anyway, and turmeric is very, very good for you. So I know that a typical Latino is going to criticize me for this. This, this film is not for them. However, they want to come on board and learn how to do things the short and easy way. Um, I know people make the sofrito ahead of time, so all they got to do is boil the beans and throw the sofrito in there um, and probably put it in the pressure cooker, whatever, and it's a done deal as well. But you know what? This is my way. I don't like pressure cookers. I believe that when it releases some of the hot air, it releases a lot of, it's releasing a lot of the minerals and the vitamins. So I'm just going to bring this to a quick boil. Uh, I'm going to put the lid on it, wherever it is. Let's see where it is. Okay, so just so you know, the amount of turmeric that I'm going to put in it later, not now because it's going to boil over, and then I'm going to have uh, red staining water over my old stove is old but doesn't mean I'm going to look for trouble so I'm going to do this later along with the tomato that I'm going to put in it in pieces now this has already plenty of garlic plenty of a little bit of pepper I don't take a lot of pepper um, I forgot to dump in the um, Barbados pepper so hold on so these are the peppers I bought uh, from somebody from the islands and uh, I'm just going to drop this one over here in it. 
I'm not going to cut it or let it smush or anything. I'm just going to remove it once the beans are done because it will release a lot of the spice, I believe. But at the same time, it will complete the flavor. And there you have it. It's ready to boil. I hope it doesn't boil too much where it goes over. I'll take my chances. Uh, but then after that, I'm going to let it sit again while I go do my hair, while I go out, uh, while I filter my water. Uh, while I do other things, uh, it's going to be on its part two part of the dinner. And I, it's going to be done tonight. I have rice, leftover rice, and I'm going to make more jasmine rice. Uh, I like to throw real cloves in the rice. It gives it that basmati taste. I also have basmati rice. Uh, so uh, the basmati, just put some cloves in it for flavor if you want to feel like you are eating in a restaurant. Okay, so this is going to conclude my part one. I am going to finish this because then I may end up losing it if I put it on pause. And we've been on for almost 11 minutes, so thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and give me a thumbs up in the comments section as well, or say something, even if it's just an X, just to help me with the algorithms. I really would like to hear from you, even if it's criticizing it. Be soft, easy, gentle on me, please. Uh, this is just the way I do it. I want to show you one more thing. So the, the, this is where I put my peels, right? What I do is, believe it or not, I let it dry. I let these peels dry and and I let it sit for a couple of days in a strainer so I could just, air could come in and out of it. And uh, then I add it to a, my bucket of um, such peels and I make a delicious tea with my fermented honey. I'm sure I've talked to you about it. I don't know if you've seen any of my videos on that. But then I pour some lemon in it, and that 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 um, tea is not only multi-nutritious, which I don't have a list to share with you right now, but it actually is so tasty, you don't want to have coffee or hot chocolate anymore. It is so tasty with that fermented honey. That fermented honey would have of um, fermented lemon in it and fermented uh, garlic in it, which reminds me I have to finish my ferment by putting garlic in it. Um, and I'm going to show that to you in a minute, actually. So I'm just letting you take a peek as to what I used. As you can see, there's a missing uh, garlic in there and the onion. This is a big onion. This is a sweet onion. I only took a little piece of this onion for the beans. It wasn't a lot. And just a little piece of this. Um, so you can see that's missing from this beautiful green pepper that I got from the Amish market. Um, I tried to go to the local farmers or um, when the Amish come over here, use their stuff. They do use chemicals. Uh, and some households do. I'm going to go to another produce uh, market that has really delicious tomatoes, but I got to eat these first. They have the best tomatoes, and it's that time of year that I either I'm going to get some or I'm going to lose out. She has the best sweet, juicy tomatoes ever, and I'm going to share it with you on a film. In fact, when I go over there shopping, I will try to remember to film the place. It is just a lovely produce place. Bye for now. This is just part one. Have a good one. Bye now.